Hey guys, part two for Mr. Cinnamon Blue Wing. We already did the head in the last video. So now I'm going to do the wing set. So this is basically a standing bird, right? So it's, um, I would say, man, the biggest thing that I see or the one that people have a lot of problems with that I kind of get uh, DMs about specifically is with the, the wings and setting them. So hopefully, you know, I can help something there. I'm going to try to really just focus on this. So, you got your got your wing. You have your your main little front, you know, joint here. And I'm just kind of going in to where it's, you know, it's not going to pull out, but it's not, you know, just the, the end of it. Um for this one Sometimes I'll sometimes I'll do if it's a bigger wing like a, a goose or a mallard or gadwall or something, then what I'm gonna do is right here and basically their thumb, there's a little chunk of skin and I'll stick it there. For this small one, I'm just probably gonna do something else, which I'll obviously show. So again, you're kind of getting it set up in there, getting your thumb and make sure and you're kind of twisting, so that way you keep it up, up top. Um, let's see, it's old freaking pellets here. All right, so I'm just going to kind of put the wing bone in the little slot that I have made in the form. I'm trying to get it where I can show you guys. That way it gives me kind of a, a basis. Now, um, if you want to, you can kind of pull the skin up a little bit so this isn't, the scaps aren't jammed. And you want to obviously make sure that the side pockets aren't cut or uh, pinched. So this looks good here. So I'm going to get this and then I'm going to push it all the way in, nice and snug. Now, obviously, the wing is outside the side pockets and I have to get that in there. So I'm going to kind of get this up, and right now I'm just worried about the side pocket. So this is another big one. If it's tight, then instead of fighting with it and doing like, I think, like I said, man, I'm really trying to, I'd really like to help people with this one because this seems to be, if you're having a lot of problem with it, then just get it up, and right here on the top, like where the skin is at, just make a little slit, and you can kind of get your exacto in there and kind of wiggle it around and kind of, you know, uh, get it so it's not pinched. Because if it's pinched, it it just it just looks weird. This one has a lot of pin feathers on the side pocket, but, you know, whatever. So I'm kind of pushing the, the bone down here. And then I'm just going to start migrating the side pocket feathers up. Because obviously they were, you know, they were down. So I'm just migrating. What I'll also do here, so now I'm just kind of pushing feathers around just to see, see exactly what I need to be doing. Obviously here, this is going to be the same for a standing or flying bird. You got a little pooch. You can see the little fluff here. So what you want to do is pin its back and up. So it's not just back, but it's also up because that way it, it tucks that that skin back in there. That way you're not having a you know a dumpy a dumpy looking bird. So from here I can just tell. Actually, so again, wing bone in there. I put the one pin. So there's only one pin holding the wing in. So what I'll do is now I'll kind of raise the scaps up like so. And I'll just kind of lift that bone up. I guess that's not as important. But right where the feathers join, like its elbow, so right where the tertials go into the, the dill, I'll kind of, I don't know if you saw it, but I'll kind of pooch it up a little bit along the back. And then I'll put that in along the top. And then what that'll do is keep the wing... I guess actually on this one, since it's laying dead, I might need to do it down a little bit. But you just want to, so this one I'm going to have it down just a bit, make sure the secondaries are good. And then I'm going to come back in here, and I'm going to make a slit. 
And this is uh, the scaps are another like because it's hard, you know, they get pinched. And if the body's too tight or maybe it's whatever, that'll this will be the kind of where it shows. So I'll make a little slit so I can get my exacto in there. Now I can start really moving it and I'm just trying to get it so it'll loosen this, the scaps up and so it'll lay. So now we're getting close to the scaps should be able to touch the side pockets. Some mounts, obviously, you want to do a little bit of the wing like this one because I want to be able to, I want him to be able to see the blue on the wing. So you can see here, I have some of these feathers trapped. So I'm just raising them up and over. You know, if there's a few that are kind of, if there's a few that are kind of misplaced, I guess, or after you dry them or whatever, um, just kind of get that going. And sometimes I think you've seen it on videos. I don't know, but sometimes if you if you need to, if these are giving you trouble, then the best thing is raise it up like this, and you'll just you'll see where the scaps are, where it's just the scaps. Uh yeah. And you're just gonna get that little strip of tape, put it right here, and run it back to the end of the wing. And then that obviously will hold it hold it down and snug. This one's looking all right, so but we'll see on this other side. So the other side is a broken wing. So that's why I did the non-broken wing. But it's the same concept right here in the elbow. And all I'm doing here is now that I know how far the primaries are back on the non-broken wing, now I do the same thing. I get this. I move the... I move the uh, side pocket out of the way and I kind of tuck that in there like so. Now I check my, it's hard because you want to be close, but it's like, now I check my primaries. Oh, they're good to go. Sweet. So now I'm going to lock this in place, push it tight because you want it to be close so you can see it, but then it's so damn close. It's hard to uh, show the whole thing. Now, obviously, since it's broken, it's kind of droopy on this one obviously no big deal I'll kind of just kind of get this here move the scaps out of the way right there where you could feel a little bit of a little bit of the skin this one will be a little droopier just because it's um, the pose then I'll come back in do the same thing here. You can see the other one is kind of higher. It's because the scaps are a little pinched on this side. So, and be and be careful with this side too, because the scaps are kind of a lot of birds. This is where they'll have a lot of their pin feathers, you know. So, like, I, I was going to say a different species, but it's like all the species really. The scaps are kind of the that's like the last, you know, kind of place that the feathers will kind of come in so that will be the place where they'll also fall out the easiest so here if I need to press it down because it's a little higher I might do the tape thing but you know you can start to see it's it's leveling out um, so now let's get the side pocket so this is going to be the same process for like every sitting bird um, standing bird obviously excuse me if you have the uh, like standing, it's not really going to make that much of a difference as far as setting the wings. And I know, same thing here, you can see the little pooch. So I'm just going back and up. And then once you get it kind of tacked in, then you can go forward. Um, you know, so I know it's, and on a broken wing, you know, you can see how the secondaries are not setting kind of flush because of the... Uh, the break, I guess, um, not as flush as the other side. So, you know, if it doesn't want to cooperate, then you just, you know, give it give it less options. So I'll just kind of clip it so I can uh, continue on. And this one here, I mean, it says a few of the side pockets um, were still kind of growing in, so 
it's it's a little bit uh, a little difficult. But I was just going to say, so you know, all birds is kind of like it's kind of the same thing. I mean, standing bird, uh, a bigger a bigger bird, you know, you would have less. Um, it'd be a lot more droopy and floppy around or whatever. So then you you want to do that other pin. Um, for smaller birds, it's kind of like the other pin. Just um, it, it'll cause you more problems with the side pockets as far as getting that, uh, getting them to kind of lay, you know, nice and and smooth or whatever. So same with the upland birds. Um, you know, it's sometimes it's easier just to do whatever will cause less of a headache or less less you know less taping and pinning and carding and and all that kind of stuff. So. Because obviously, if you can get it to lay right on its own, then odds are you probably have the anatomy pretty good because it's you know laying. And sometimes you know, no matter if you do it everything just perfect, it's freaking the way it dried or the way the the skin is set. You know, you'll have the feathers just won't want to cooperate, and that's you know, that's just the way it is. But um, so. That's basically the that's basically the the deal. I'm I'm hoping it everything showed okay. Um, what I'll let's see, cord is hitting that. What I'll generally do is kind of get, like I said, there's a lot of pins up here. You'll lose some feathers, but no big deal. Um, a lot of times when you do the the scaps and you you do the exacto and kind of free them up. Um, and just birds in general, you'll get kind of the poofy back right here. And so what I'll normally do is, uh, let me see if I can find a piece real quick. Oh, there we go. So then I'll just kind of get a, a little elongated, make a little elongated octagon. And then I'll just kind of get this. I should say once I get the feathers, once I get the feathers uh, in place, then I will uh, pin them down. That way they're, let's see here. I'm trying to like talk and think at the same time. Um, and then I'll just kind of pin them down so that way it's not, and, it, and really like after like a day, you can you could remove it if you wanted to. Um, and like I said, man, any of you guys, like you want to message me, you've got uh, got a particular bird, like I said, I think the biggest thing on on the sitting birds are uh, the clay work for the head to give a nice smooth uh, shape. And I think, uh, I mean, just based on like what I'm being sent anyway, I should say, like the clay work to get the nice, um, especially on the back of the head here, this is where you'll kind of see a lot of like, um, it'll droop down instead of kind of just being a nice like this, like nice slope. Um, the throat area, you know, won't be as full, but if you dry it off and, you know, you get it, you get it glued on like we did uh, the last video and you get the nozzle. And if you don't have that, or if you have really stubborn kind of, because these feathers are so small, then just use an airbrush with no paint, obviously, just for the compressed air. And that's another way you can kind of really get in there and separate them out because if you don't have a nozzle or you don't have, say, compressed, uh, you just had a shop back with just a regular hose, that's not enough pressure to move these feathers around. And so you're just kind of accomplishing nothing. And uh, as far as the, the sitting, so what it, the normal problems that you'll run into is the scaps will be pinched, which that's why we um, exactoed it. Um, the other problem is. Um, Let's see, scaps, uh, the side pockets will pooch out. Say they, uh, you know, they, they're like this. And that's that means that the wing is too far down and it's pushing the side pockets out. So like here, you can see if I push and kind of raise it up, it flattens them out. But if I had that pin down here, then that would mean that I have it too low and it's causing them to not lay flat. Um, again, if you have problems with it, instead of trying to pin or push them, keep them whatever, um, get, move the wing higher um, and also make that cut underneath. 
and then that kind of will will get them so they can lay flat. Um, other problem you run into um, the, the the one in the back you don't necessarily have to do. Um, I do that just to make sure that they aren't going to droop. Um, you could do uh, uh, well, actually, let me go ahead and do it that way. Because this is, uh, you know, I do this a lot for standing birds, um, divers. Not really a lot of them in general, but it's kind of like you want to poof it out so it's not caught. Um, I end up making an incision more often than I don't. So I do that, obviously, because, um, I don't know, most, most of the time it just... It's so much. It saves so much trouble, and it, it ends up being way easier. And the finished product is so much better. So, what I'm gonna do here is, like we kind of talked about before, um, I'm going to move all the feathers out of the way. I'm gonna put it, give it a little squeeze with the tweezers, just that way, uh, that way it stays stays stuck. Hold on, let me move this damn thing. And then I could kind of press along. Obviously, the secondaries, I need to get them up. And then I'm just going to come back here to the end of the wing. Press it down, make sure it, uh, make sure it's on the primaries. Because if it's not on the primaries, then it won't you know, hold as tight. Um, same thing here on the side. And I just normally will go, normally you'll get, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Normally you'll get them kind of bunched up. So you'll start from the back and you just kind of move the ones preceding it on top of the ones in the back. So it's just kind of here, here, unbunch, unbunch, unbunch. And then I can just go, and the same thing here, I want to make sure that the side pocket is, is up on the side and not just kind of too far down, like so. Yeah, this thing had a lot, well, not a lot of pin feathers, but, you know, like I said, shoot, if it was, it wouldn't really matter with it being such a cool hybrid. So, now I have this, obviously I'll groom a little bit of the fine lines, but I wanted to show you the the top here, and obviously the other side I could do it as well. Um, it's laying pretty good, so I may not have to. Um, oh yeah. And then as far as the back, I just want to make sure to just kind of get that. And then like here, you could just kind of go in the front side and just kind of press. And then now you have, now you have the nice shape. And obviously this will be setting kind of on the bottom of the, the dead strap. And it's going to be freaking nice. So I think that's about it. Um, the only other thing I have to do is tape the tail. Um, so what I'm going to do next is, whenever I get the eyes, obviously with that, that scalp redhead, um, that'll be flying. And so that'll make a good flying video. We'll do, because um, I was thinking about it, and I realized like I haven't really done, um, the biggest problem with the flying I see a lot is kind of pinning the wings, or the wings positioning. Um, just Just a few things, like, but it just makes such a big difference in the look. Um, same thing with the standing bird. So this one, generally you want to get it, again, where the scaps touch the side pockets. This one, however, I'm going to probably move it down a little bit just so you can see the blue, because I think, obviously, with that land there with the blue, that looks freaking great. Um, and that way people can kind of see, like, oh, yeah, okay, there's the, the wing is normal looking. Um, you know, because some people thought this was a uh, a blue wing or a cinnamon green wing or something because of the the kind of stripe a little bit, but that's obviously just because the blue wing, the way it mixes together the two species. But and that's about it. And then from here, um, um, I guess I could show real quick. And so from here, I would just tape the tail. Um, I'll go ahead and show, I do like a, it's a real popular fishing knot. I need to know the name of it because I keep telling people about it, but 
it's um I can't remember the name of it. I always called it just like a hangsman's noose, but I'm gonna do this three, four, five. Pull that tight. So now I have like a loop that I could squeeze. I'll go in the foot here, just make sure I don't have any feathers pinned. Get my tweezers snugged it up. And then now it's ready to inject. And you have to watch the, watch the other video um, on injection and stuff. But uh, as long as you have the knot there, that helps a lot with, you know, just just keeping the material from coming back into your bird and and uh, absorbing into 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 other parts. And you know, even though it will harden, you know, it'll still absorb and and, and cause some problems. So before it hardens, and so I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side, and then snug it up, and then obviously I cut that. So. Oh, my light just went out. So I think that's about it. So um, till the next one, obviously I'm going to do the, uh, like I said, the flying bird. This is a good representation for sitting. Um, where's my cap at? Uh, this is a good one for sitting. This is kind of like, uh, this should apply for pretty much everything. And... Um, you know, again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this helps. Um, I really want to do some particular because I, I know a few comments that said like, "Hey, you know, a lot of videos are just kind of basic this and that." So I'm I'm trying to do a little bit more specific um, little tips. And uh, and like I said, the main thing with these is you know make sure you have the V along the back that's out that's not pinched. The scaps. You know, when you do that, that sh they should lay. Um, again, your goal for a, a lot of birds, say it was a mallard, um, uh, shit, I don't know, shoveler. I don't know, shoveler, I guess, blue, you would want to show some of it. But the goal normally is to have it where it shows uh, where the side pockets touch. So, again, if you have problems with that, make the incision. Just kind of, you know, unpinch it. If they're laying out and not doing it, move the wing up. Um, if you have a broken wing, set the other one first, find out how, you know, where the primaries are laying, then you just match up with the, the broken side to that, and that way it doesn't matter. Um, one pin in there for smaller birds, do the other one under the thumb for bigger. Um, and like I said, for a standing bird, if this was a regular standing, I wouldn't do anything differently. Um, the head to neck junction is going to be about the same. Uh, on a standing bird, I guess the only difference would be you're still just trying to make it, you know, a perfect, like, slope from the top of the head to the neck. You don't want any indent or you don't want it too poofed out either. Um, then, obviously, the throat would be a nice, like, curved downwards, you know, taper. Um, the relief incision for that. And other than that, man, you, sh you should be pretty good to go on the standing birds. And... Um, We'll um, we'll attack the flying ones and hopefully get where the because the you know the wings are tough man they're it's a lot of different things you have to kind of make sure to go right uh, but anyway well guys I appreciate it um, this is a freaking beautiful bird I'm uh, <laughs> so happy to get to do some cool stuff like this and like I said this is uh, I'm gonna do some more grooming you know because like you can see here. Um, this is down a little bit, so I need to un un kind of bind that, and then you know the, obviously then I got to most of most of the side pockets like with wood ducks or just in birds, most of it's going to be pulling upwards um, and getting them un kind of bound because that just kind of naturally happens when you dry them off and and uh, and that kind of stuff. But you know the head looks beautiful on them, the eyes look good. And like I said, I'll, I'll inject them here in a little bit. And, uh, and that's about it. So maybe I'll even do a video of injecting. I know the last one I explained it, but obviously I didn't do it. Um, but maybe I'll maybe this time I'll actually just show injecting the feed. And even though it kind of sucks, to be honest, because it's, it's, you know, that stuff is like you got to be so careful for it to shoot out. 
and get on stuff or get on the bird or your clothes and you got goggles on and it's just like freaking on and on um, and you're, you're under a time crunch, you know, two minutes and it starts hardening up. So you got to get injected, clean the needle out so you can hopefully use it a couple times and then, you know, clean it up before it starts hardening on the feet too much. And But maybe I'll give it a try. And like I said, for this guy, other than injecting and a, and a little bit of grooming, just, you know, put every feather where it's supposed to be. Um, he should be good to go. And taping the tail, I guess, too. And uh, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, comment if you can, put a like on it. Um, you know, there's always a lot more, a lot more views and likes for some reason. And, uh, other than that, and for any dislikes, I don't know why you're watching tax number video to begin with, if you're not into hunting. So that's just kind of on you to be honest. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to groom a little bit and then I'll make up maybe a part three for injecting and then I upload all these up this afternoon. And, uh. There you go. So, all right. Bye, guys.